This month marks the 25th anniversary of Selfie, the much-hyped polygonal shoot-'em-up that debuted on the Sega CD back in 1993. To help celebrate this special occasion, I wanted to take a look back at one of the most visually stunning 16-bit shooters you'll ever see. Turn back now if you don't want to know what happens next, because today we're going to spoil the story and ending for Sylphide on the Sega CD. This is Game Over, The Early Years. I don't think many people remember Sylphide. It's an old-school shoot-'em-up that seems to have been completely lost to history. But if I were to go back in time and say that to a much younger version of myself in 1993, my mind would have been blown. You have to understand, shooters looked like this at the time. Or this. That's not to say there weren't amazing-looking shoot-'em-ups back in the day, but it felt at the time like Sylphid was taking the genre to the next level. And it wasn't just me who thought that, because we saw the same excitement coming from the editors of both Electronic Gaming Monthly and Die Hard Game Fan. Some critics even called it the Star Fox Killer. This was a game that exploded onto the market with flashy polygonal graphics and badass cover art. So of course it was destined to be remembered as one of the most influential shoot-'em-ups of all time. But that didn't happen, and that's a shame. The year is 3076, and a group of space terrorists have waged an assault to disrupt Earth's Grazon system. The central photon computer then integrates and controls the whole galaxy network. The survivors of the attack assemble to strike back at a terrorist known as Zacolite, who plans on using the Grazon system to take over the galaxy and... I don't know, find the Infinity Gauntlet or something? I'm not actually sure what he's going to do after he wins, but the goal is to not let him get that far. This, of course, means sending a super-powered spacecraft known as the SA-77 Sylphid to shoot down enemies and blow stuff up. You are literally the last resort. No, seriously, the instruction manual even says so. Anyway, all this story is just set up for 11 stages full of shoot 'em up action. Marvel when huge ships explode into tiny pieces before your eyes. Dodge even bigger ships that are determined to end your mission early. Scratch your head as you explore this hexagonal world. Visit foreign planets that aren't hexagonal. Shoot down missiles over the mountains. And get into the single most epic 16-bit space battle you've ever seen. Seriously, name me a more intense battle than this. So the whole thing leads us to this massive space station. If we're able to get to the core and blow it up, then we'll have saved Earth and the rest of the galaxy from a guy named Zacolite. This final stage is epic, filled with backgrounds that are constantly changing and enemies that won't give up. We eventually get to the core, where our strategy is to dodge a big, massive laser and then shoot the middle. It's not exactly the most original strategy, but sometimes it pays to go with a proven method. Here's what happens next. What, you thought we were done? Just when you thought it was safe to put the controller down, Sophie comes with a twist ending in a 12th stage. Buckle up, because this is a genuinely massive fight against an even bigger ship. It twists, turns, throws bombs, and shoots everything it has at you. 
all while taking minimal damage from your puny shots. But don't worry, you'll eventually blow it up, and here's what really happens next. There have been a lot of complaints over the years, especially from people who argue that Sylphite is a pretty standard shoot 'em up that has really fancy backgrounds. There's some truth in that, but you can't take anything away from this ending. Say what you will about the action, but Game Arts definitely knew how to make a pretty Sega CD game. And even now, 25 years later, I still think this ending rocks. The instruction manual specifically mentions that there are only 11 stages, so it's a real surprise when the final boss interrupts what looks like a happy ending. I didn't see that coming at the time. The whole thing just feels so epic, which is hard to pull off in a 45 minute long game. This alone should help Sylphide spawn a dozen sequels. Oh well, at least you got to save the Earth. Hey, thanks for watching our review. So here's the question of the day. What's a shoot 'em up that wowed you? I'm not looking for your favorite shoot 'em up, but rather a game that really impressed you from a technical level. I mean, I probably wouldn't put Sylphite on my list of the best shooters of all time, but I remember it, and I was definitely wowed by the graphics at the time. Let me hear your picks in the comments below. In other news, I have a super cool announcement to share with you in the next couple of days. It's not the major, but I think it's really, really cool. I can't wait to let you in on the big news. In the meantime, I strongly recommend you click that subscribe button and support what we're doing here. Until then.